is question 25 of the Intermediate Maths Challenge 2025 easy actually? I think it might be if you're willing to cheat just a little bit. We'll do it properly afterwards as well, but just look at the answers. They're all whole numbers here. We need to work out the area of this shaded triangle. If we just called all of these side lengths A, B, C, D, E and F for now, without worrying about how they're related, and think about the areas of the triangles, we'd have a half times A times E is 6 here, so A times E would have to be 12. Uh, here we'd have a half times D times F is 5, so D times F would be 10. And for the other one, we'd have a half times B times C equals 6, so B times C equals 12. If we just took a bit of a gamble that with only whole number answers to the questions, that all of these numbers might be whole numbers as well, it would be worth 30 seconds of our time just to play around with it here and see if it works. Because in fact, they've chosen it with quite easy numbers here. If we make D and F 2 and 5, that makes that triangle work. Of course, we also need A plus B equals 5 for this to make sense so that the uh, sides of the, the rectangle have the same length. But if we uh, then take these to be 3 and 4, that one works. If we take these to be 2 and 6, that one works. So actually we've got then that the area of the rectangle is 6 times 5, which is 30, and we get an answer of 30 minus 6 minus 6 minus 5, or 13 centimetres squared pretty quickly for the shaded area. Of course, this isn't really a good mathematical method to get the answer here, but I bet a lot of people that got this right in the Intermediate Maths Challenge probably did something like this. This is actually a nice question if you do it properly, and if we wanted to do it properly, we'd have to do something like this. Let's call these side lengths x and y, and this length a, then we'd have a half times uh, a times x is equal to 6, so a would be 12 over uh, x then, uh, and we can not refer to a anymore in this question. Then because the height of the rectangle is y, uh, this part here would be y minus 12 over x. If we call this bit b temporarily, then similarly we would have a half times b times y equals 5. So b is equal to 10 divided by y, and we don't need to refer to b again in this question. Then again, because x is the total width of the rectangle, this part here would be x minus 10 over y. So where do we go from here? Well, we haven't actually used that bottom left triangle yet. So let's use the area of a triangle formula again, a half times x minus 10 over y times y minus 12 over x is equal to 6. And if we just multiply that by 2, uh, we get that same expression there without the half equals 12. And the really clever trick here is to say, let's look at uh, what we've got in these brackets. There's a y and an x in the denominator. But if I multiply by that first bracket by y, we'd get xy minus 10. Of course, I would need to multiply the right-hand side of the equation by y as well for this to be valid. And if we do the same thing with the second bracket, we would uh, multiply it by x. So we would get x times y minus 12. And then, of course, we would multiply the right-hand side by x as well. If you look what we've got here, we've only got x times y as the sort of algebraic bits of this equation. So let's just call that a. Why am I calling it a? Well, because x times y is actually the area of this rectangle, and it's what we need to work out to work out the shaded area as well. So it's a nice thing to substitute here. So we've got an equation, a minus 10 times a minus 12 equals 12a. And this is a quadratic equation. I just need to multiply it out and do the usual sorts of things I do with a quadratic equation. So let's multiply it out a squared minus 10a minus 12a plus 120 is equal to 12a. Uh, subtracting 12a from each side and combining the terms, we get a squared minus 34a plus 120 equals 0. And then choose your favourite method to solve this equation. Of course, we know it's going to work out nicely here. We know it's going to factorise, so we can factorise it here as a minus 30 times a minus 4 equals 0, which gives us the possibilities a equals 30 or a equals 4. And a equals 30, of course, because it can't be 4, uh, because we already have uh, 6, 6 and 5 units of area in the rectangle, so the area must be at least that. 30 is the only thing that makes sense here. And then we get that the shaded area, as before, is 30 minus 6 minus 6 minus 5, which is 13 uh, centimetres squared for the final answer here of B. And if you're able to get question 25 of the Intermediate Maths Challenge right, you'll really enjoy having a go at some Olympiad problems. Here's another video that has one of those Olympiad questions that I think you'll really enjoy.